Zambia is a very beautiful country situated in the central southern Africa. It has a population of about 15 million. It is very cultural diverse. We have 72 uh, ethnic groups. As a result, a lot of different cultures from the different ethnic groups. Zambia is a natural country. High potential. We accommodate uh, both the modern and we look forward to getting into a future that is high tech as much as we will still maintain part of our natural environment. We have lots of wildlife. The big five, we call them. The hippo, we have the elephant, we have the, the big cat, the lion, the giraffe, and the rhino. So we have those offering quite a lot of uh, enthusiasm for people who want to come and see wildlife. And of course, Zambia has a lot of water. We have lots of rivers passing through. We have uh, one of the biggest waterfall in, 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 in Africa, the Victoria Falls. We sure Zambia has a lot of resources, natural resources, and among the natural resources we have is wood. Lots of different wood, hardwood, softwood, hardwood in different colors, softwood in different colors. And we produce a lot of things in our country uh, from wood. Our artists make a lot of cultural expressions from the wooden materials. So, for example, we have here elephants in Zambia all the way from the eastern part of the country down to the southern part, which also uh, elaborates and shows how much tourism activities we have in terms of wildlife. This is an expression of an elephant, a mother and baby elephant. This is an expression of a bird, two types of hardwood, the rosewood and the base is made out of mokwa. It's an ostrich made from different pieces of wood, picked from different parts of the country. We have also a beautiful flower here, pleasant and different and diverse. You will see different pieces of wood. We have the red wood and we have the, the light colored hardwood and we have in the middle there soft wood. So it's an expression of how happy we are. Of course, I indicated we curve a lot of wooden things. We have instruments. If you noticed on our national day, we have the little a thumb piano. Is in, in local language, we call it kalimba. My name is uh, Edward Mwanza. I've been playing it for years now. I learned it from my father. This one, I made it myself. So this is wood. Mostly I use rosewood because it's wrong. And when you put some keys, they need to stay where it's very strong, not any other. Wood. And this, this one is a calabash. We use goat skin to put it on top so that it cushions the kalimba when it stays there. And it, it acts as an amplifier. When I remove it, the sound will be lower. I put it there, the sound is bigger. So the purpose why we let it to be separate to it is because when I'm playing, I lift it up and down, up and down. There, it creates a wave sound. And we have a lot of cultural uh, activities that resolve, revolve around the wood. Drumming instruments and playing instruments in wood. With me here, I have a team that we play with. And also, uh, we have the drums here, which have a different type of rhythm. Each drum produces its own type of rhythm. The substance on top of the drum is what we call the tuning wax. This wax actually gives us the rhythm that we want. What rhythm do we want? Is it a deeper sound? Is it a lighter sound? So this helps us to change the rhythm. We mix this soap with groundnuts, then pound it together then we produce what we call wax for the drum. This is 
is a traditional ceremony which is mostly found in the northwestern part of the country. We have different masked dancers and those are done uh, during traditional ceremonies. And we have this one which is called, um, it's normally in bright colors, they call it a healing dance. The dances we are doing here, some of them are spiritual dances. Like the Riala, this one who puts on the skin. Puts on the skin here, and then he puts on uh, the flared skate, which has all this stuff that when he moves, they are also flying out. It's a spiritual dance. He doesn't just perform, but when he performs, he makes sure that most of the people you know, around feel free, they are relaxed. So the other stuff here, which we put here are called rattles. They are wooden rattles. Uh, we pick them from the bush, put small stones inside. Our music performance was mostly meant to show how we have managed to bring the traditional into contemporary, and then also how we have maintained the traditional music. One of the global challenges that we are facing is the issue of climate change. What we have noticed so far is that the seasons are shifting. We have longer dry spells compared to what we used to have before. For Zambia, we have a lot of woodland area, a lot of natural trees. To participate in creating a solution to the global warming situation, Zambia is engaged in conservation of the areas that are reserved for forest and it is also engaged in encouraging people to, to undertake good practice uh, agriculture methods. Uh, our country is mostly agriculture reliant. We encourage people to get back to the more conservative or conservation kind of farming. As Zambia, what we would like the world to take away from the display in the Zambia Pavilion is one, the fact that we are highly diverse and the world can come and see how you can be so different but so united, how we have so much opportunity in terms of what we can contribute to the world in developing the future of this world. So everybody, come to Zambia. Zambia is waiting for you. It's a land of peace and opportunities. <laughs>